quickly you will notice a road running in the same direction, that road right down there to my left, I guess. Follow and eventually you will pass over a highway interchange, reuniting it with the A1 motorway, motorway near the town of Benkovac. Benkovic. Or whatever. Yeah, I didn't want to answer him because uh, he was just explaining what he was doing. Yep. That's why I, I when, when oh, I'm supposed to turn. Yep. I don't. I don't say nothing either. I try not. To. Hey, we should. Thank you. We should all be polite and let everyone talk. <laughs> not interrupt each other. When you're talking to your chat. It's... Yeah. Or even when we're talking to each other. Yeah. This looks like an interesting game. I've got it in my wish list. I've just... I want them. This game is high. $79 here. Oh, wow. It was 69 for me. Huh? For which version? There's three New versions one? for the game. Is there? I hope I got. I think I got the newest one. Well, it's it's the it's the same game. It's just uh, it has three different packages. Yeah. You have the standard. Uh, and it has a bundle package with a hundred and some bucks. Uh, let's see. Looking at. Let's see, it right you now. got it on Steam. I bought it on Steam for sixty nine ninety nine. Yeah, I I have it. Um, it's part of my. Uh, Xbox Game Pass. Oh, you got it that way. But for you guys in the States, it's a lot cheaper. Um, I guess I have to spell it out. For 60 bucks here. Uh, and that X Plane 11 that you guys are talking about? I put the, it on my Yeah. $70. So there's the, the standard game, the deluxe. And then the premium. Yeah. I, I went with this one instead of X-Plane because more people watch this. Yep. This is the latest and greatest that's yep. out there. Um, yeah. The only difference between the three versions is how many, uh, uh, planes you get. It's for the premium for me is uh, uh, like 119. 170 bucks. Yeah. It's a lot of money, but it's a lot of content. It is. What? Who? Is that my bad self? Can you see the Heisler from here? <laughs> <laughs> choo choo. <laughs> yeah, go across the pond. Yeah, she's oscillating. I'm trying to see what Not right now. Nope. <laughs> but do you guys want to play it or something? Uh, I just it, it aggravated me that I had to take more. Oh yeah. Do a one point five from the from the iron mine down. Right. Okay. Yeah. The curves were just kicking my. You know, oh, we should all we we should all join your server and help you out. I was I was trying that too, uh, overnight. Yeah. It, it's the whole. Not enough. Straight stretch between a left and a right turn. Oh. To a, or you'd have to make one long bridge just to bypass all those turns. I have like no right rudder. Then, but then if I do that, right, I do, it doesn't get down to the height right. that I need at the bottom. So I have to do the lefts and the rights to, to drop the, to drop the height. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So you go. We gotta. 
I also try to do a 1.5 down from the uh, from the cut down to the. Uh, what side are you on? Are you on this mountain side or the the one that has that drop in it already? No, no, I'm coming up from the sawmill from the sawmill cut. Oh, okay. And then I was trying to go down to the smelter, uh, turning back towards the iron mine, and then coming back down along the river. I wanted mm -hmm. that at a 1.5, and the best I could get out of it was a 2. Yes. 1.5, it was way too high. And then at 2, it got me where I wanted, but the curves were just wicked looking. So I had to, I had to. I did a break. straight, straight run just to see if it can be done. Yeah. From the iron mine right to the smelter. Not a, not on the straight. Yeah, yeah tall bridge, a tall bridge, right? I just, I was just seeing if I could do oh, it. Oh, yeah. But the, the drop won't make it. Really. No, it makes it, it, it goes past. Yeah. Past the smelter, you're just going into the mountain, and you, yep. yeah, so you'd have to turn. Yeah, you have to bleed off that height. Yeah. I see. Yeah. That's basically what it is for me too, Savage. <laughs> when I twist my rudder to the right, I get down elevator. That's all. Awesome. Like I wow. said, the only difference between the different versions. Alright, here we go. I want to buy now. Uh, the only difference between them is what you get uh, as far as number of planes. But if they got a workshop. It opens the door to a whole bunch of them. Wow. Uh, That's a lot of money. Not cheap. Nope. So I'm still, here. still climbing. That's two months worth of putting money in the in the steam for me. So the premium deluxe includes everything from simulator plus the ten additional high accurate planes. I don't know what the planes are. I guess you can buy an add-on pack at some point, right? Probably. Yeah. I'll just do that. I I wanted to make sure I liked the game. So far, I I, I really like it. So the standard, the standard includes 20 planes. The deluxe. Savage got his rail down to a 1.5. You get an additional five handcrafted airports. And an additional five aircraft. That's the premium? That's the deluxe. Oh. So you would be up to 25 aircraft with five of the airport, international airports being hand uh physically placed in the world. And then with the deluxe, you pick up an additional 10 airplanes. So that'll take you up to 35 airplanes and an additional 10 handcrafted airports. So it'll take you to 15 handcrafted airports. That's the difference between the three versions. Look at those two dudes. Or you can buy, you can get different pilots, right? Um, can, I don't know. I haven't seen that. Yeah, I think, I think I, I don't know if it was X plane I was watching or this one. But did you ever see, you ever see Airplane Two? Yep. When uh, it says you're gonna have to blow the computer. Yep. And the blow, the blow up. You can get the blow up pilot for the for the Cessna or for the for this game. I have to get that. Yeah. The Oculus set up. Uh, they all three use VR. You can 
do all three of them in New York. Yeah, it's in looking at the main settings. Yep. Yeah, it has Oculus in there. Ooh, ooh yeah. My daughter's picking her finger up. There. <laughs> Probably wasn't supposed to land in ZRA. I don't think so, right? I'm over here flying the plane, flying the plane. <laughs> yeah. Well, look airport? at your nav log. 26 yeah. minutes. Yeah. You only land at the last spot. Yep. I'm not. I'm not looking at any of the terrain. I'm just following the arrow. Yeah, I'd want to have all this stuff on a different screen. Uh. I think I can put the nav log on a on a separate on my second one. Yeah, but see, with that setup that I was talking about. Yep. It has um, a thing for that because it was showing it. Yep. Right. And it has a screen for that. It has a screen for your. Yep. Oh, you can get a, a cockpit. Yeah. Uh, I think Thrustmaster. Yep. That's what I was saying. For twenty five hundred bucks, you can get the whole the whole ordeal. Um, we'll go straight to Thrustmaster, please. Uh, Computer store I go to has it. Far from your airport? Yeah, I got a ways to go. I don't even think I'm halfway yet. Yeah, I was trying to get a little closer to the ground so I could see. Yeah. Enjoy the sights. Yeah. If I go in the cockpit and look at the trim wheel, and I Okay, these buttons do work. Yep, yep. See, I even downloaded the, uh... Oh. What is this thing? The Gremlin... The Gremlin G1000 manual. Just so I know how that freaking thing works. The plane? No, the... Your... The... Class... Uh, the display inside your cockpit. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, the Garmin? Is it a Garmin? Yeah. Oh, okay. You say... G1000. I said Gremlin. You did? Yes. <laughs> the, the, I was like, what are you talking about? I didn't know what you meant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that thing. Okay. I have yeah. to yes. I and it's, so it's true to life then? Yes. Oh, that's cool. I think I want to do that. Uh, not all of the buttons function, but the, the general concept of it. Yeah. Uh, if you want to know where something's at on it, the manual will tell you where it's at. Okay. Now people are going to go up and buy a Garmin for, for uh, video game. <laughs> No, those things are expensive, dude. They are. Those, I wouldn't be surprised if they're around like 10 grand. Ah, Logitech. Logitech. Yeah, I was going to say, Logitech is the biggest, is the biggest. Yeah. Uh, I think it was a Logitech setup. I think I hit turbulence. It was less turbulent up here. Yeah, you got your flight switch panel. Yeah. Yep. And then you got your flight instrument panels. Yeah. Uh, and your throttle quadrant, your radios. Yeah, it was Logitech. Logitech went all out on this flight. Yeah, they even have a dashboard that you can put yeah. all that in. The the uh, switch panel has your uh, start, your your key, 
and then your master warnings. Got all the buttons. And stuff. But they're all they're all sold separately. If you want to yeah. buy the package deal, yep. You gotta go to Logitech completely. That's where I'm at. I'm at Logitech, but I don't see the package. Cause that's what my mouse is. My mouse. Because it gives you gives you all eight of the little square LED yep. LED uh, screens. Yep. It gives you the two uh, seven inch LED screen. Right. And then it gives you the switches. Yep. The instrument panel is one hundred and sixty nine dollars. Just for damn. Me. Is it something you could build? Like you buy the base piece and then add on? You can, you can buy each piece separate. Yeah. Well, the, well, now see this. They're each one hundred and sixty-nine dollars. Yeah, for each piece. Yeah, it was a towing cost, Savage, racing or or a flight sim. <laughs> flight sim one out. Three and a half inch LCD screen. Racing is like. The racing can get intent because, yeah, you know, intense because of the competition factor. No, like that can be stressful, and I don't want to. I don't want to be stressed. I just want to play games. It is stressful. That's why I stopped playing I racing. Yeah. If I did it, I would be pretty good at it. Because I've been into racing. Yeah. So explain this to me. The so, instrument panel is yeah. $169, right? Yeah. But the rudder pedals with toe brakes also $169. Sure. Yep. They got feet warmers. They're, they're pretty well close, <laughs> close together in price for if you were to buy it all separate. So I think the one that's the most is the digital readout. Yeah. Reads all the numbers. That's like 300 bucks. Uh, well, I have the flight multi panels for 49, and then the flight radio is 149. And how much is the one with all the toggles for the switches? Uh, 99. Yeah. So it's a lot cheaper for you than it is for me. Yeah. See those two digital readouts? Yep. Are 299 bucks here. Yeah, I thought they had, um, at one time they had it listed as a, as a package, but I don't see the package. Yeah, I'm buying mine right from a computer store. Uh, products, animations. They have it as a package deal at, at the computer store. When I first started with the RC Cars Savage, I was having a lot of fun with them, and then we got into racing. And then the racing got intense, and then I got sponsored. And then it was like, we'd go to a racetrack on a Sunday, you do two practice runs, three heats, and one main, and you're there for eight hours. You take the car apart in between every run and put it back together again. And uh, then I switched to planes, and I remember, you've been through the RC thing, I switched to planes, and I'm out there at the field, and I'm just like, it's a third dimension. You just feel so free. Yep. And there was no competition. And I was like, oh, this this is fun again. <laughs> you know? It made me realize. Like, it's, I slowly got into the racing thing. You didn't realize how much, you know, stress you were giving yourself. Get caught up in the competition Yeah. And just to you just Yeah. Yeah, I need one of the pedals, that's what I'm Oh. We're getting there. That the airport ahead of you? Yeah, L D S P. We're like we're two thirds of the way there. There is, this is a long, long ass journey. Wow. 
Yeah, after this one, I'm going to save it and I'll pick it up again. I want to play around with it. Auto it auto saves. I want to play around with the F-18. Yeah, which cars did you race? Off-road or on-road? Nitro, wow. Yeah. I didn't get into the nitro. I did all electric. I did I did one twelfth uh carpet and one tenth off road. Oh I I tried one eighth on road. Someone gave me a car to run. It was um oh the name just escapes me. They were very famous uh chassis you could buy back in the 90s and the importers were Chinese and they, they raced with us on the 112th and then they gave me their 18th car they said come out we'll give you a car to run so I was in the parking lot of a college or university and they gave me the car and I was winning I was beating everybody and um, the owner of the importing company came in and said why is this white boy driving our cars <laughs> yeah, he took the car away from me. He was Chinese. He was, yeah, he was prejudiced against white people. Bummer. Yeah. And then all the other guys are like, he's, but he's winning. He's like, I don't care. He's not Chinese. He can't drive the car. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was the beginning and the end of my one eighth gas car. They were like on on road Can Am style bodies, all wheel drive, two and three speed transmissions. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember the name of the chassis. That was hell. Oh, they were awesome. It was so easy to drive compared to the one uh, twelfth. One twelfth is like driving a cockroach on steroids. There's a lot of turbulence over here. The plane is all over the place. You got some wind turbines there. Okay. Yeah. You know, another game that's gone heavy into setups like the flight simulator is American Truck Simulator. Right. Which one? American Truck Simulator. He's yeah. Iron Eyes got it all. I've got all that. Oh, you got the heavy hauler? I got the heavy hauler, the shifter, everything. I'm still struggling with a freaking PS4 controller. Yeah, I got the, if you were to see the shifter. Yeah, that's, that's a good way to go, Savage. Spec racing. Spec racing is fun. I enjoy ATS. It just uh, after a while you get tired of driving. It's a lot more better now with the convoy. Yeah, yeah. Now that they added, well, see, I was uh, doing um, truckers MP. Yeah, but but there's no other cars on the road. When, except for other players, so you may go hours before you ever see anybody. But yeah, now that they've added Convoy to the base game, you don't really need Trucker's MP. Right. And you don't have... See, with Trucker's MP, they go away from the truck that you bought and built and, and you huh? use the base game. Yeah. I use my truck and truckers in here. Yeah? 
Yeah. But to the view to other people, it's still only... Oh, is it still looks like everybody else's? Yeah. Where in Convoy... Yeah. It's the truck that you buy, the truck and trailer that you buy, and you set it up yourself. Yep. Now, I've gone ahead and done something a little different. I've got the templates of where I can make my own trailers. Yep. I tried. We struggled. No, no. Where I put my own logo. Yeah, yeah, where you put your own wrap on. Yeah. 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 And I put it into the, into the base game, not the... Yep. Where... No matter what, people will see that it says Iron Eye on it. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna step away for a little while. If you're still, like, trying to pilot this plane when I come back later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, no, I'm gonna, um, I'm almost at the airport, and then I'm gonna... And I'm going to end this and screw around with the F-18. I got to see about dinner, too. Yeah, that's what I got to go see about. Yeah. Like, well, it's almost 9 o'clock. Yeah. Almost 9.30. When he has to eat, my time. Yeah, it's like 5 o'clock. It's just now dinner time. So yeah. I'll chat with y'all later. All right. Later, Joe. Later, Joe. Later. Later, uh, Savage. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you there, Seth. The earlier version of MP was fun. But since Convoy came out, I don't. I haven't been on Arkham MP. And I gotta be getting close. I think I, I think I see it ahead. I like how they use real world map. Yeah, it's 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 amazing. You can fly over your own house. I took one of the uh, turbo prop planes. I forgot the name of it. And I, you know, my house that I have upstate takes me like two hours, 45 minutes to drive it. And I flew there in the plane, you know. Matter of seconds? Oh, no, it was the 150 knot I was flying, and it took me like a half an hour. I was like, man, I wish I had an airport here and there and a plane. But where's the, um... Soon we'll be in flying cars. Oh, I'm supposed to come in from the other way because... The wind. It's going to be a direct crosswind. The airport there? Yeah. Just love how some of the Yeah. Very realistic looking. When I jump in here, all my indicators a little different. I got used to looking at the ones. It's turbulent. 
or it's my joystick jumping around. I don't know. Well, there would be some some wind coming off those foothills, right? Yeah. Can't see where the runway is. It's a big ass long runway. means everything that you see is really in real life. Right. This is how you would see it. That is cool. Yeah. Off oh, reps. Yeah. Yeah. Moving again. Yeah. And then when you get the tow truck and it take you to the... That was a good landing. Yeah. The back of the trailer is always on the fence. Nice. 34 minutes. We're supposed to take 26 minutes. I don't know why. All right, back to main menu. I'm done with that. That was fun.